Uh, so John Moxley signed a five-year extension with AEW. And uh, that there's one line in this press release that says, uh, moving forward, Moxley will work exclusively for AEW and its international partners, including New Japan Pro Wrestling, where he is two-time IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion, which is an intriguing line because tonight he has a match with, uh, with Nick Gage. And GCW, I don't know if it is that considered an international partner. No. In fact... Um... I was told that Moxley was the only AEW wrestler allowed to work for GCW um, before this. Not, now, I mean, after this contract, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to really talk because I, I don't know the answer, and I know that I will probably know the answer tomorrow or, or the next day as to what that line means. But it was intriguing, and, and obviously, I'm trying to find out what it means. Yeah, um, if that means GCW, if that means Defy. Um, I know Moxley wanted to continue to work indies. I know Tony did not want his world champion working indies. Um, so I don't, you know, so it could have gone either way. There could be more. I don't know what it was. I, you know, I mean, there's there's different tiers to different offers, and I don't know which deal, you know, how, how again, I don't know the details of the signing yet, and um, I don't know how much I'll know. But the one thing, you know, again, is – um, you know, Mike Johnson had this and then, uh, you know, I, obviously there's things people knew off the record and stuff, but, but there was a period where he was a free agent and he obviously was as champion, the most secretive um, free agent out there. Yeah. And, um, you know, I mean, I think that they're okay. So, you know, when he, um, let me think about this one, the timing of everything, um, I think that they like again. I don't know the timing of the signing, okay? Um, but I do know the announcement was going to be made originally. But they had a whole different scenario. Mm -hmm. But the announcement was going to be made on, I believe, the, the the Tuesday in Cincinnati. I think was when the announcement was going to be made, okay? But they jumped it up. They moved it up. I presume I could be wrong because I have not heard this from from anyone. I'm just, but I do know. I did know about the Cincinnati thing. But I do. I did presume that it was moved up because of just, you know, AEW's had a string of bad publicity and I think yeah. it's time they need they needed and, and and when I saw this last night, you know, um after I was done or um actually it was in the middle of my filming, um when I got the news um about him signing, I immediately said, oh, "Okay, they they my my presumption was is that they needed to get something out right now because, you know, they have all this you know, a lot of negativity." over the Sammy and Andrade thing and just people, Oh, you know, whatever. And I think that they just felt that they needed something, you know, and, 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 you know, the idea that all these guys wanted to leave and here our best guy, you know, um, he's here till 2027 for reals and, and get that out right now. So I, I think it was smart to announce it from, from that standpoint um, yesterday. So um, yeah. So I don't, again, I, I don't know what that line means, but I do know that, you know, I do know the, 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 that, you know, Moxley wanted to work indies. Tony didn't want him to work indies. And, um, you know, I mean, I, I was surprised at the five. Um, and I presume that Tony offered, he had to have offered a lot of money because as you know, from talking to me, um, I always advise people short contracts, right? Yeah. Everyone, everyone that comes to me, it's always short contracts because this thing's going to get bigger and more heated or it won't. But I'm going I'm if I'm a betting man and I'm giving advice, I am betting on the fact that AEW will, will get a, a raise in money. It may not because of the WBD thing that could change things. But I was certainly always betting until the, the WBD, you know, cost cutting. And I still think they'll get a raise. Um, I don't know how much, but I think they'll get a raise. But this wrestling war that that um, WWE sometimes tries to claim doesn't exist, even though they, every action they do, you know, is, is, and, you know, says differently. Uh, and speaking of which that just watch that Tuesday, because I, I think WWE is going to load up that, that NXT show on that two, you know, the Tuesday from Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Plus, plus there's a lot of, you know, we got the baseball playoffs coming on a lot of Tuesdays now. Yep. And, um, you know, um, and I mean, Wednesdays, but, but that Tuesday we'll have baseball playoffs too. That Tuesday's gonna be a very tough day. The Wednesdays are going to get a lot tougher. Um, 
you know, with the, with the competition the challenges back and everything like that. So, um, but anyway, the, the, um, I got off the subject, the, um, NBA's right around the quarter too. Yeah. And the NBA does hurt without a doubt, you know, cause the NBA will beat them. Um, maybe not every week, but NBA will beat them, um, um, you know, more weeks than it won't. And, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a tougher competition on, for, for AEW on Wednesdays, of course. But, um, but anyway, back to, uh, the, the thing. So, um, the value, um, of John had, I mean, I mean, he could have gone now. I believe that again, I don't know when pen is put to paper. I do know when verbal I'm staying with you. I'm with you was before he, you know, beat Danielson in that match. So when he was world champion, whether the pen was to paper or um, not, he had for sure promised he was staying and he had, you know, I, I, I know he's, he's obviously said to us, you know, he would never work where someone hands him a script unless it's a movie. He will do a movie if someone hands him a script. He will not do a pro wrestling promotion where someone hands him a script. He will not do it. You know, he, so so I don't think that he was wanting to go. But when he was interim champion, um, which was still the top guy in the company at the time, um, you know, it, it could have been. I mean, how much again? And I'm sure he he had made a verbal promise. And, uh, you know, there was no danger of him going to WWE. However, um, I don't say no danger. I mean, I mean, pretty much no danger. You know, I, he wasn't going to go. But um, as far as does WWE know this? You know, I don't know. And I mean, if, if you're sitting here and everything, it's like I was trying to figure out what would they offer him as interim champion or as world champion? <laughs> you know, obviously, he can't take the belt with him, but to jump, especially now. You know what I mean? When when you're really in a war and, and Triple H, you know, think about this. He's looking for that home run of all home runs. And that's a home run of all home runs yep. would be signing John. So, I, I mean, I believe that John could have gotten and, and, and he may hear this and get really mad. <laughs> 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 decision. But but um, but then again, Tony may have matched it. Well, yeah, Tony could have matched it, too. You know, I mean, it's not like Tony's not going to Tony really wanted the guy. But I mean, I, I think from from I mean, what, four to five million? I, that that was the range that I was thinking that, that he could have gotten, and maybe 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 five, just because of the timing of everything, and because Triple H is new in the position. Um, you know, I, I think could have gone as high as five million. Do you ever know what WWE a year, offered a year. him? Offered what? him last time when he left for AEW because he made it a point on the podcast that he did with Renee to say that WWE backed up the Brinks trunks trucks with it their was, offer. I don't know the number. But I know the number was giant um, that, that they offered him to, to stay because they at this point, they're already aware of AEW. And, right. and he had not, you know, when he left WWE originally, the original when he gave notice was he just wanted to work indies because there was no he'd already made up his mind before AEW, AEW was a thing, um, even though he didn't tell anyone. It, and by, when he told people AEW wasn't a thing, but then when he was going to go. Obviously, Tony made a great, great offer, really wanted him bad. And probably, you know, one of Tony's best moves that he made was signing Moxley, especially. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, he was, he was one of the key guys in kicking out, you know, one of, you know, really him and Jericho and I know Omega and the Bucks because of the timing of everything. But they, they were the, the real keys to that, you know, start starting off and then growing and everything like that. Yeah, he but, details that in his book where he said he got a text from Jericho and then he responded and then or, or something he had like the wrong phone number because Jericho had two phone numbers and he was wondering why he wasn't getting anything back from Jericho he details that whole thing in his book about the communication there with, with AEW which is kind of a funny story right right so um the you know but but you know I mean it, it would have been way 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 more now because I mean there's no way I mean I, I'm trying to think like like if he wanted to go at this point in time, you know, is he more valuable than Orton? And it's it's a hundred percent yes yep. on Orton. Wyatt probably, and those guys are closing in on four. You know, I mean, over three three point five to four range. And Ronda, you know, um, you know, he's more valuable than Ronda, um, even though Ronda's you know famous, you know, star and all. Five five years tells me he 
doesn't really have interest in going WWE. Well, I think we know that, but that still doesn't, you know. Um, I, I mean, he, he, you're saying the earlier your contract is up, you could renegotiate with your own company based on your value at that time to the other company. Exactly. But obviously he got a great deal. And Tony obviously would want to sign him for as long as possible. And another key to this, you know, for, you know, there's so many people with this AWs doing badly. It's, it's like, this was, this has to be a giant contract and it's a long commitment. It, you know, from a Tony standpoint, he could have said three and, and that's fine. Cause, cause I know there was points where Moxley, you know, was when this contract's over, I'm just going to work Indies. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he wasn't hundred. It wasn't like, I don't think he was ever going to go to WWE. But and and I think he would have worked New Japan a lot, but um, it wasn't like um, you know he he you know between I think friendship with Tony and and just being a team leader and being handed the ball and everything. Obviously, you know he wants to make you know this is the run he wants to become a legend in. You know, I mean he's he said that it's like he wants to become a legend and he is being given the ball and this is his time. So he obviously does not want to leave and he's willing to make five more years commitment to it so it was very um it was very interesting you know when i saw the five because i would have expected three um but i know from tony i think tony would have wanted five mm -hmm. and but again for people who are going like oh you know they're this and that and they're not in it for a long term it's like he he's not committing whatever the amount of money is for five years if he's even thinking for a second that this thing is not going to be successful and around for a long, long time. I know, you know, I know there's people who just bank their lives on the idea that this thing's going to fold. And again, like there's no, I can't guarantee it won't, but um, every move it's like, like I, I even wrote this today. It's like, I will tell you when, when it, the time to worry. Mm -hmm. Okay. As far as AW goes, because this will be what you do is when they start taping every other week yeah. because that's that's a cost cut thing that a company will do to save money so when that happens all the people when they're talking about oh this 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 and this that will be move number one is when they when they do that and when they do that i will join you all in your concern of of financial problems and everything until that happens and that's an easy step and it saves them that will save them an incredible amount of money in, cer in certain ways um, until that happens, um, my thought is that, um, you know, you, you're worrying about the wrong things because, because there's no sign, you know, or, or him not, him not signing this guy for five years for whatever the number is, or him not, um, you know, the page thing was another one, you know, it's just like, Hey, just signed page. It didn't, it didn't come cheap. And so he hasn't stopped looking for people now. You know, are there guys that it would have cost him three million a year to get that he didn't sign? Yes, that did happen. Um, so there is a budget and everything like that. He's not just spending to spend, but um, he's also not shying away from a lot of people. So um, it's still, um, you know. And, yeah, and, and they're of, going the other way. They're they're trying to do more live rampages, which was the that's, that's, show. Yeah, well, that look. They still need better main events, by the way. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.